With all due respect, welcome. It is 27 days today. The August 9th poll is increasingly coming into clear view. The IBC has completed its national election conference today, where the poll body has announced itself that, among other things, it is all systems go. Meanwhile, the judiciary says all election-related cases filed by aspirants will be concluded by Friday 15th, allowing time for IEBC to make some final adjustments in its plans. All this is pointing to a conclusion of matters that will all end in the ballot. Kenya Kwanza and Azmiola Umoja coalitions are ramping up campaigns across the country, adding supporters to support their formations. Tonight, I have two experienced politicians, Katungu South MP Moses Kuria and Hobart Town MP Peter Kaluma, to check the pulse of the nation. Gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Thank you, James. Let's start with perhaps what happened yesterday, which was sort of like a big event, the first gubernatorial debate, the Nairobi debate. What do you make of it, Moses? I, I think... Uh... I think uh, Sakaja killed it, honestly speaking. And I've talked to a lot of people, even my friends who are as me or leaning, and we agree that Sakaja, Sakaja killed it, really. He was very well prepared, and, uh, you know, the subject matter, you know, he had, he had the, 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 the gist of it. And uh, my good friend, Paul Kapu it was, you know, I, I don't think it was his best night. Not his yeah. best night. Yeah. Kaluma, would, would you agree with that assessment? You know, I did not watch it. Because uh, I'm one person who strongly believes uh, Sakaja does not have the qualifications. Is that why you didn't watch it? Or you yeah. Uh, I think it is the failure of our institutions that we can watch Sakaja to his face and, and, and his debating being a governor. When we all know, and there is clear evidence, he does not have qualifications to run. So, do, so do, I, do we do that for sure? I, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I mean, Moses will tell you with uh, you know Sakaja in the last parliament. Sakaja does not have a degree. Uh, he's there, you know, debating. It speaks very badly to the failure of our institutions of governance. And so I, 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 I didn't quite take my time on it. I know them generally, and I think with this corporate, uh, you know, background. In God, they would give Nairobi a very good governor. I, I, I think the issue of uh, whether Sakaja has a degree or not is better left off to the institution that uh, Peter Karuma is talking about. You know, because you cannot talk about failure of our institution and then you know you are bastardizing the same institutions. And I think uh, one of those institutions is the CUE, the uh, Council for University Education, and the judiciary itself, which has pronounced itself not once, not twice, but three times. So I think I think if we respect, if we have got respect for our institutions, we are better off leaving it there. The secondary question, that being the primary question, is whether Sakaja is qualified. I mean, whether he he's, he can he is going to be a good governor. I think the Sakaja I know, uh, who I've known for the last 15 years, is I have got no doubt in my mind that he's going to do a good job. You know, people come with uh, very lofty qualifications, doctors and all that kind of thing. And then, you know, the issue of applying themselves is very, very important. And I think what was, uh, you know, uh, amply demonstrated yesterday is uh, Sakaja was able to, to make his case to voters that he has got a grasp of the issue. He's got the pulse of Nairobians. And he, he really understands the issues. The and I think, the, you know, uh, James, people have come to me before and asked me to buy in Nairobi. I say, you, look, you really need someone who can really understand this very complex machine, you know, called Nairobi. Nairobi is a very complex machine, where you've got some few neighborhoods, like where Karuma and myself live, which are just like droppings in a sea of slums. Nairobi is a city of slums. Look at all the four corners of Nairobi, from Kibagale to the west, to Kibira on the other side, to Madare, to, you know, Mukuru. You know, it's it's it, Nairobi is a slum. It's a huge slum, with um, some you know some few sprinklings of of some middle class and upper class residential areas. So you need somebody who really can apply themselves to not just because of a degree or a certificate or that, but somebody who can really get a grasp of the complexity. And you know, the most important thing in leadership is that you have to move with the people. And the people, the the stakeholder of Nairobi is not me. Mm -hmm. I'm not the, the the average stakeholder. Yeah. For me, I live in Westlands constituency. I'm sure. Tim Wanyoni or, you know, uh, Nelson Harvey can maybe understand me better. But you can imagine getting the grasp of the issues in Mukuru, in Madare, in Kibagare, in Kangemi. It, 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 it just requires somebody who is who, more than a corporate, whatever you're calling a corporate, <laughs> a corporate something. A corporate you know, because even in banking, and I'm a banker like Polycap, you yeah. know, this is what you call corporate banking. It's okay. It's very good corporate banking. But Nairobi is mass market banking. 
<laughs> yeah, I let me have a response before we move to the next issue. Yeah, 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 just very briefly. You see, what we need to ask uh, Moses is whether we need the degree qualification for the post. And I think that is the debate you're having. The fact of the matter is that this degree requirement is in the Constitution for governor and the president. And I think there is something they were looking at. It's not in, in an act of parliament. For president and governor, it is in the Constitution. And, and so it bothers me when Moses is saying uh, we should not care about it. Yet when there was an opportunity to look at what we should amend so, so, the Constitution. So you want to say, now, you, you, you want you, to say that you, IBC yeah. has and judiciary ha have held no, 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 I'm, that the Sakaja doesn't have a degree. No, no, no I'm, I'm, but, I'm, I'm, but I'm going there. there. What I'm telling the, you. Judiciary of Homabe, no, 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 hereby no. represented by one no. Peter Opondo Karuma, no. now says. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, Sakaja, let, I let, wish let, you let, 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 let's respond to this. Let's put this out to go through the next What issue. I'm saying, uh, you know, is that the degree requirement is in the Constitution. There may be merit in this argument that you need, uh, you know, competence and understanding of the unit you're going to serve more than, you know, degree requirement. But the fact of the matter is that it is a constitutional requirement. And, and, and uh, because of that, you cannot avoid it. Now, number two, uh, Moses, you see, it is one thing to say that the institutions like CUE and the courts ought to deal with it. Where I'm talking of failure of institutions is where you, you hear CUE saying the guy it does not have the degree. But they cleared him. The matter goes to court. Oh, no, 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 get they, this. They get this. The, 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 the last uh, position of CUE is that uh, the purported degree, yes, is, is, is not valid. Which is the, why the matter goes to court. Yes, now, then the matter goes to court, and mm -hmm. this is where I'm talking of failure. You have an ABC tribunal saying we don't have jurisdiction to determine the validity of a degree. You know, that is Correct. the basis upon which they are saying so. We don't have the jurisdiction. What is difficult in a court of law or a tribunal calling the people with the authority to, to, to validate a degree before them and then coming with a conclusive determination? What it means, James Matt, is that we now risk voting for a person, then we have post-election challenges. Uh, you so, get so, it? So you are and a member. That is why I'm Peter, saying. Peter Apollo, why Karuma. I'm saying. You are a member of the National no, Assembly. No, no, Moses, I didn't interrupt uh, you. JLAC, J Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. Mo Moses, I didn't interrupt you. Are you here saying that you don't have faith in the judiciary? As a member of the JLAC, I'm saying the judiciary. The judiciary of, the, of the judicial level. I'm saying committee. the judiciary failed in this context. Mm. A judge simply needs to call the people who can confirm the validity of a degree. And it, it be confirmed, not that you, you open the space for, you know, post you know, election litigation, because that, you know, is what will happen most likely in the unlikely, you know, scenario that is voted in. The people will challenge I, I, this I, election on, on, on that issue, Moses. I, I'm getting disturbed because, uh, you know, sometimes we are unhappy with uh, court rulings, eh? but I think as lawmakers, and, you know, the judiciary is there to interpret the laws that we make, uh, you know, when we start now casting aspersions on, on, on judiciary, you know, I, I, it's okay to criticize rulings, you know. I, I'm not some, I'm very happy with some of the rulings that have been made. But I think finally it is a final arbiter, you know. And, yeah, and I mean, I, Moses, I agree to that. Yeah. I, I'm, also, I'm, I'm only saying they should be more bold. On, on this, yeah. on, on, no, no, no. They should the, be more bold. On, on the, on this they should be degree, more bold. On this question of degree, because I want to, you know, finish so that we get to more substantive issues. On this question of degree, because it's been pertinent, especially in this election, and it's come back, you know, fourth that you know, this candidate X doesn't have a degree, this degree can be questioned, this one presented a, perhaps a fake degree or whatever it was in the last elections, and there we have it, the governors or that sort of thing. What is the correct position from where you sit of leadership, character, and the question of this degree? What is it that the constitution and politics was trying to solve? You know, uh, I, I think that's a very important question. Uh, I was part of the people who came up with this constitution in 2010. Uh, with wisdom of hindsight, I, I, I think we need to revisit that, the, the issue of uh, degree requirement for governors. Uh, one, because of what have happened, now we are even in CBC. Yeah? Because now what is a CBC now for degree now for governor? Yeah? Carpentry or what is it now? You know, even that, you know, what are we going to do now? Because, you know, we have impugned yeah? the same academic system that produced uh, uh, financial guy Moses Kuria and lawyer Peter uh, Kaluma, you know, we have already impugned it through this CBC. So we yeah? won't need it. So we will not need it. No, no. Can you imagine now, in the coming years now, if we have to get a, a degree equivalent in a CBC environment, 
What are you going to ask people to come and do? Take the microphone and do an interview? <laughs> no, James, I, I disagree <laughs> with Moses. I go for a break. You see, the Constitution talks about academic qualifications only for two positions. The chief executive of the country is the president and the chief executive of the, the county. county, who is the governor. For the other positions, the Constitution says parliament will by law legislate it. And, and we've been struggling, you know, Moses, mm. to legislate it. Me, I think... The academic qualification requirement is because of the roles, you know, served by these institutions. If you go to parliament, uh, for example, uh, you know, Moses, in the context of the new constitution, you want to deal with the legislation, you're dealing with budgeting, you know, you know how heavy it is, you're dealing with serious yes, oversight yes, issues. Yes, yes, if, if, if Bill if, Gates if, was to vote for if, Governor if, Obama, if, would you vote for him? Who? Bill Gates. Uh, we can't. Why should we? We can't. I mean, be, 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 this is a guy who needs to finish college. Yes. Bill Gates, the guy who revolutionizes this country, the digital economy, and all that. But because he didn't have that degree, you see, Moses, if he voted for Governor Mo Moses, Obama, Peter Bodo, Kalmak, the, the, the problem we now have, uh, you know, Moses, is that we have people, you know, in charge of billions of money at the county. You have accounting officers going to them. Imagine there are people who do not have the but capacity Kalum, to understand. Kalum, I agree. Look, what, I agree. We I want, about, James, what we are talking about, What we are talking about, James, are you aware that the first government that of there was a must be the need for academic qualification for some positions cannot be gainsaid. I'm not saying that it should be overweighted against the other, you know, ideals mm. or virtues. But really, there is need for a balance and around some level of understanding okay. of the roles of the institution okay. is necessary. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to go to substantive issues. I want to take a short break, short commercial break. I do have uh, Moses Kuria and Peter Kaluma here. Moses is on the ground. I want to find out how his campaign is actually going on. I've seen some troubling things, but we'll hear from him first later. Don't go too far. All right, welcome back. You're watching with all due respect with Moses Kuria and Peter Kaluma. Let's get to other substan substantive issues of the day, opinion polls and that sort of thing. I saw. Would you allow me some small nuisance? Because somebody has asked me to ask Peter Kaluma a question. Because Peter has come out very strongly in support of degrees and qualifications for positions. Please go ahead. Someone has told me to ask him where are those for his party leader and presidential candidates? Because we, we hear about some polytechnic in East Germany, and I don't know the, how the true that is. You know, do you, do you, do you want to address yourself to that <laughs> briefly? As you move you really want me to address that? Yeah, yeah, Raila yeah. went to Leipzig University, which is the university of uh, Angela Merkel and others. Top league university. Not even Medberg or something. I mean, no. I mean, huh? that's a campus. Ah. It's like you have your Kabet, Kabet Ngombe, where you're studying here. Yeah. <laughs> But, but Leipzig, I mean, go to their website. That, that is a university of the top world leaders. They, you know, give it to Raila. No, it's okay. It's give, okay. Give, I, I have no give, doubt give about it. Leipzig give, being a big give university. Give it to Raila But the Kuria. issue is, did he, a deal, give, did he get a diploma give, or a degree? Give it to, to, to Raila oh. Moses. No, you, you cannot debate anything with Raila that requires mental and intellectual engagement. Yeah, because he has And that can only come from a degree. I have no doubt about it. Are you doubting Raila? No, no, no. And you see Moses. You know, Raila is my friend. And we have got very interesting and very insightful discussions with him. That's what most of you discuss. The same thing I have with Sakanya. A very brilliant, intelligent fellow. What you're saying here is his own tough, which he has put ahead, which is about papers and degrees. So why don't we open the server even here? Moses, let me tell you. Mo Moses, let me tell you. If a person is educated the way you and I are, I just need to look at you and you know it. Just look at Sakaja in the eye and, uh, and you'll see the joke that it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, let's let's, let's leave it. All right. Okay. <laughs> away, away, from the, away from the from the degree question. The, the opinion polls are out, Moses. Uh, nationally, uh, your candidate, Kenya Kwanza, is trailing uh, as new uh, Moja candidate, Raila Odinga. I also some opinion polls uh, in Kiambu County. What says that you're trailing? You know, you know what, uh, uh, James? Uh, first of all, and Kaluma, is, he knows my academic history. The way I respect him in matters law, matters statistics and numbers, you cannot, you, really, you have to go around before you get somebody to fault, you know? So, and I'm one guy who believes, like, like one guy who wrote a book called Gupta in Statistics, who said, figures don't lie, it's liars who figure, okay? Figures don't lie, it's liars who figure. In this case of the Kenyan opinion post, it's liars who are figuring out. 
Explain. Yeah. Explain. Mm. Walk, 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 walk okay. me through them. Let's let's go back to the, our history of polling uh, in the in the new constitution. That's when we we started seeing act people. No, actually, from two or seven. Yeah, even two or seven. Yes. Election, uh, serious opinion polling. Uh, since then, Sinovit, which was what, what was it called that time? Stedman. Yeah. yeah? Then which became Sinovit, which became Ipsos, has left the the polling market. The po political opinion polling market. Why? Ask yourself why. Because, you know, it is so, uh, you know, it is so soiled, yeah? It has gotten such a bad name that you can't do it anymore. Okay. Can I show you something about this, this Tifa? I, you know, I don't like to, to appear like that. They're not, not here to defend themselves. No, let me say something. I'm not accusing them of anything. I'm, I'm only saying something. And I, like, I don't like coming out as someone who is not decent, you know, who, who talks about private conversations. I'm, I'm not, I'm not so cool. But let me say something here about, about some, some, I was in Dubai, you know, sometimes back and I was with somebody from a media house, which I will not name because, you know, I respect people's businesses. And that media house conducts uh, by, by monthly opinion polls. And then I asked him and he told me that, uh, you know, uh, my poll is done by, what's the name of that lady who runs Tifa? You know, that one, you know, the, the, the CEO of uh, Tifa, yeah? So what happens is that that media house releases polls. After one week, Tifa releases polls. And I was shocked when this media executive told me that the same lady of, of Tifa is one who does for the, for, for the newspaper, for the media house. And they are like one, one comes one today. After two days, one comes out to prove. We call it in statistics a truism. It's a truism. It's not, it's not a formula, it's not an equation. Okay, okay. Yeah? So, so, so. That it is done by the, the, the one from that media house. No, no, but yeah? hang on, hang on, hang on. It, hang on. It's, 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 it's done by the same one hang of hang Tifa. On. Hang on, hang on, Moses. Hang on, Moses. Is what? Is what? And, 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 and to give clarity to this. Respond to and, and, and to give you to clarity, yeah. Moses. Mm. There is a law, 2030, the Halal law, that actually guarantees how mm. opinion poll is done in this country. Mm. We know about the methodology, we know about the universe, we know about how they sample. Do you have a problem with the sampling? Do you have a methodology? What's the problems that we have with the, with the opinion the poll? Law. There's no opinion poll for them, these guys, I can tell you. And there's a reason Sinovet left these things. They are all cooked. They start with the answer, then ask what was the question. Well, you've not answered my question, Moses. I have got a, a you've problem. You've not answered my question. I have a problem what, with the, the problem integrity. With the whole integrity is okay. missing. With, with, yeah, with, the, with, with the, the persons thing. who are doing with the, the whole polling. persons, the collusion. I'm, I'm just talking about collusion, my friend. Okay. okay. Collusion okay. that... You know, that media house, I'm really straining myself from naming it. It's okay, it, yes, I understand. Na nation media does not do opinion polls. I no, understand. Why does not media, nation media do it? Why has the nation media does it? It used to do it. Because it is a, it is, it's a messed up en environment. Okay, let's yeah? build it. Which a respectable media house, like nation media, will not touch. You know, you know I tried to talk to Standard Media Group the other day. Yeah? My good friend, Ocheng, Ocheng Lapuro, you know? And he said, there is no way they are going to touch opinion, political polling. If you see people, and I think that also, you know, minimizes the sample space of your speculation and imagination and okay. conjecture. Okay. If you don't see people who are now doing opinion poll in this country, it is with a, a certain desired objective in mind. And I've just told you. So you don't believe Tifa, in any opinion poll? Tifa, and I'm challenging that CEO. They're not here to tell you. Yeah, to, to I'm challenging themselves. that person, whoever they are, she knows herself, to, to deny or confirm. She is not the one who, the same Tifa, which does opinion polling for another media house, okay. which I had released three to four days, plus, minus, before or after, which is supposed to prove the same thing. Okay, you see, okay, media Moses, house X Moses, said yes. Moses. You see, Tifa said Y. Hang you on, see, hang on, this thing is consistent. Hang on, hang on, hang on, Can I do something? Let hang me on, just go further. Let me go further. No, no, no. no there's another one called Mizani. That's what I would name because it is not worth the, shoe, the, the sole of my shoe. The one called Mizani. Mizani goes calling people. Do you want to be number one or number two? Number one is 300,000. Number two is 200,000. What crap? Okay. Kaluma, do you believe on opinion polls or you not? Know, you know, do, James, do you have a problem with opinion polls? James, opinion polls is something that happens across the world, both uh, for commercial, you know, enterprises and, uh, you know, what we call uh, political opinion polling. In Kenya, we have a legal framework for it. And by the way, Moses, let me tell you, if you have uh, a problem with anything they are doing, there is a provision for it in that law. And that law requires them to publish even the person who has engaged them, who has paid them, to whom it is to be published. It is, it is these things you're not exploring. So as I'm saying, if you have credibility issues, you know, take it up. I've been observing these opinion polls, uh, you know, James, for, for quite some time. 
And it shocks me that, uh, you know, when uh, the coalition calling itself, you know, Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, you know, was up there, they were all rosy. When it is confirming that uh, they have been overtaken, there is a problem. When uh, Moses Kuria was going for MP and he was always, you know, up there, it was all good. When Moses Kuria is now being told you need to up your game, it is a problem. Right. My view of it, I can tell you, Moses, even that Mizani, you know who is buying Mizani. It's not the best of my friend. But consistently they are telling me, you are at this. And it is confirmed when I go to the ground. Where they say you have a problem, I go and address it with the, with the people I have those problems okay. with. You don't I, I don't have to pay. The, okay. There is some... Is let, 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 let me tell you. For those of Nani, us who pay, Mizani... Moses, you are talking too you. much. Moses, let me tell you. The reason as to why media houses don't do opinion polling is that that, that, that is not their business, number one. But we, number two, we commission polls. Yes, you, we, we, you we, may, you may if you want. We commission polls. But the particularly, national understanding has commission polls. Yes, but particularly for political opinion polls, you make a choice. Do you want to plunge in? What is the gain? How does it put you as a media house in terms of public view mm. and, and your market strategies? Not simply because it is dirty. But it is your policy in terms of uh, you know you are all as a media. Uh, uh, let's, let's get that this is clear, a choice. Uh, so, so what I want to say, let's what I want clear. to say, wrong with poly, Moses, know? yes, correct. It's, it's a science. I'm happy. It's it's social science. science. It's, wrong with poly, you know? it's a science. Yeah. It's supposed to be correct. A science. Yes. But it's a science. No, 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 it's no, supposed no, no. to Moses. be a science. It's a science. Moses. We know people who do properly. You know, the last time Gallup was was in this market was was in the 2007. Moses, let when me tell were, you. When, when they were brought by that guy called Dick Morris, you know? You know, and, <laughs> no. you know, and they came and produced things that they didn't uh. really like. All, uh, you remember Caronzo uh, reading in all the polls, you know, prior to 2007. Uh. And, and he held Before the with, campaigns. Uh, he, before he, the campaigns. Yeah, he held up with yeah. pass. No, it's okay. No, before the even, campaigns. Even, even Arsenal starts hang on, on top hang on, of hang on, the gentlemen. table. Let's yeah. one person make, make, make yeah. up. Before As, the campaigns. Arsenal starts on top of the table because it's alphabetical. Yeah. So <laughs> don't tell me about, you know. But, you, you I, see, I, I, don't, I want to clarify this. Mm, Hang on, I want to clarify mm, this. Mm. That that the question of opinion poll as a science, we not only have a law that that, that governs it. Correct. There is a society as well, like mm. the media council, for instance, if an issue Absolutely. with persons. Absolutely. I, I wish. So, so, so if, if I wish are, we go to media council, mm. state funded. No, yes. Mm. If whereby we can even be able to ask questions, and I've said this before, mm. but and I've mm. said to many people, but Moses, if, if, even from the uh, committee of uh, ICT in the mm. house, I've mm. said to them, mm. probably we need to empower media council, you know, to be able to do. In the same way you are doing the presidential debate, you are coming together. You could have called, you know, people here. In, but they have NTV. their own society, Moses. Yeah? If, if, if so you have why, why can't you do to... the same for opinion polls? What do we need? They, they, they have their own society, what do we need, Moses. What do we need to do, Moses? I, I need to um, build on to this. I need to build mm, on to this. Mm. That there is the last election, and we've seen this the last two months. Uh, both Kenya Kwanza and uh, Azimio said they conducted internal polling. Correct. All right. Uh, we were, no one was aware about this. It was an internal polling that says even today. Uh, the deputy president said from the in all internal polling, you know, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa is winning. Uh, you might be aware about these polls and whoever conducting those polls. Uh, the same was done with Azimio, where they use it to look for candidates, whatever it is. So there's some sort of science of yes. who are doing it mm. that is acceptable and somewhere. It, 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 so we cannot wholly dismiss it. And that's the mm. point, Moses, that I'm bringing uh, on your uh, table. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with polling. I'm just saying, in our situation, uh, uh, the part of the state machinery and state system is one which runs this opinion James. polls. Mm -hmm. Simply put, and I'm telling you, I've got proof. James, I've talked to uh, people. James, okay. let me tell How you. can we have Tifa James. running polls for a media house and they appear like two different things? It is what my friend George Oraro calls a distinction without a difference. M M Moses, okay. M M Moses, let me help you. When an opinion poll, you know, comes up, what we should be debating, uh, you know, James, is that this poll shows this, what could be the reasons for it. Let me tell you, even in terms of the campaign map across the country, these people are relying on some polling. So that you see when uh, we say, for instance, could it be matter effect that Baba is over 20, is marching towards 30, is marching above 30, or what, it, what could it be? You, you see William now going more towards the western coast, seeing where he can balance the figures if the, the Mount Kenya has to go low. It, it informs your strategies, in, it informs what you do. What we should be debating here is that if they say Kenya Kwanzaa is being beaten by, you know, Azimio, uh, Laomoja, one Kenya coalition, 
what could be the reason? And then as a politician, you address those issues in terms of your so, campaign, so, 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 in terms so of Kaluma. your mes messaging. Uh, but, but don't, don't, don't at, conclude. At this point, at this point so, so let, let, me, yes. let me get this straight. At this point, mm -hmm. you agree with the polls, you agree with the numbers. Uh, oh, totally and completely. I, I don't agree with the numbers fully, but I agree with the, with the science what's, of the what's polls. What's the issue with the numbers that yes. you've seen? My, my view is that knowing in terms of, uh, you know, the voter registration, the strongholds of Azimio, and the excitement that is around and, and, and the campaigns which have been going on, we should be way above the numbers they are but giving. But yours, yours, yours is a feeling. This, there is a scientific sample here. Yes. Yours is a feeling. Mm. All right? You're not, you're no, not no, giving, it, you're not it, giving it, me it, a, it, a science it, it, to denounce those numbers. You know, it, it, it is a science to the extent that, uh, you know, it is uh, showing that, uh, you know, as a is way above Kenya Kwanzaa, where I fault it, Possibly it's on the undecided votes. It's a 3% I, I, I don't believe. It's, it's a 3%. No, 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 James, no, no, no it is not 3 no, no, But get it. Huh? When, when you tell me that as of now, James, up to 10% of the population are undecided on who they are going to vote for, I, I, I question who could they be and why can't uh, you know, the science confirm where they are leaning or why they are refusing to speak. Now, now I have a problem with that percentage, not the fact that you know, Raila is ahead of Ruto or Martha Karwa is ahead of, of Gachagua. And I'm basing this on the campaigns and what I'm seeing around, which is what we should be discussing here, Moses. Uh, well, I agree with you. And you, you know, there's nothing wrong with people getting it wrong, even in, in, in mature democracies. Mm. They, 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 they wrote off Trump mm. in, uh, in 2016, didn't they? You know, they, 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 they said he's winning in 2020. It is normal. It is, you can get it wrong as long as the methodology is scientific, still yeah, things can mm. be able to get mm. it wrong. But in this country, there's so many factors which can also make you go wrong. For mm. example, uh, now, uh, for your information, I do my own polls, mm. national polls, all the way up to home a bit. Mm. And I've got the best technology, I can believe so, <laughs> of polling, but I keep it to myself. Because but but you're, you're, you're not a practitioner, so no, no, how, how did you do it? I'm a practitioner. Okay. Or, 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 Moses, did you know you can ask that, these yeah. pollsters yeah. why they are publishing no, you those see, polls? So yeah. when I see a poll that is not scientific, yeah. I, I, and then, you know, the scene of it is the last credible uh, uh, company that was being polled in this country. Yeah? So how do you do your polling? No, no, Tell no, me, how do you do your polling? That, that, just that, give me, how, how do you do your polling? I will not even go there because this, this but is you you've done this for polling. my own internal consumption. And yes. you've never seen me publish at you know, what's happening here, there, there, there. But well, you're using it to dismiss yeah, people yeah, no. who are doing what scientific polling. What I'm saying polls. is, and, and I James understand, is right. I understand, a, is right. A, I understand a credible poll I, when I see one. Mm. And I've got no problem whatsoever with people getting it wrong on opinion polling. Things can go wrong, Gallup got it wrong, all the media, all the networks in the U.S. sometimes get it wrong. It is normal, but so the ob you can get it normal in the course of doing a scientific poll. Moses, that is that is Moses. possible. Tell me, tell but me. you cannot get it right Moses. when you are doing a poll to prove a predetermined position, Moses. that like what happens with Tifa Moses. and tell me, tell me, tell me, Moses. And, what, and what, 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 does what, is your, what, what, what does what does your credible poll tell you about like Kiambu today? Mm. About Kiambu yes. today, mm. my, my own poll. Yes, mm. I'll keep that to myself because you know the issue here is <laughs> publishing something which you are not ready for full analytical disclosure or getting things which, because but I which, really which, which not go there. I will not go there because Moses, the which, problem, if, if for Moses, example, you know, they, they, they I'm, sure as samples, Mio, I'm sure as me, I'm sure as me, guys, mm. uh, even us in, in Kenya Kwanzaa, we commission polls mm. for our own internal consumption. As the media yeah. does as well. Yeah, as mm. media does, you know. Mm. We don't, the whole issue is not conducting polls. Mm. The whole issue is when you go out publishing out there, yeah? Mm. There is a very, very, very high threshold mm. that is required. Mm. I'm sure I assume you have got another company I saw that publishes your post no, no, no. called NIS and Kibisho. No, no, no. See, no, no, NIS and Kibisho no, no, is your no, company. That, that is not yeah? true. See, Kibisho no, 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 is 60%. No, 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 no. That See, that is, is nothing your like that. See, so you commissioned it. Of course. See, and, and, you know. No, no, no. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's nothing wrong with you commissioning Kibisho and NIS. You know, James, let's let's James, when will I speak? Yeah, please. <laughs> Please, make, 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 make a contribution. And, and here's the thing, and I think yeah. you have to clarify this, mm. that every poll that is released, it comes with a sample size. We know the universe. Mm. We also do know where, when and how they conducted this poll. And so, so it's not true. It's not true, Moses, what they, what that, that, that they don't tell you those things. Who? Who commissioned? Who? They, 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 there is a sample who is paying. Who? They, who? Open the server. 
they tell, they, they, they say... You, you see James. Who commissioned the T41? This T41 now, yeah, James, who commissioned? They are not here. Ask, ask, they are not here to ask, defend ask, themselves. Yeah, James, they are not here to defend yeah. themselves. Yeah. Ask them or take me, my word. Let me help Moses. Moses, go and do your genuine uh, poll, and it will confirm to you we are doing better than what if I is saying. The fact of the matter is that if you look at that law I'm talking about, it gives even the right to be banned from the pollster who commissioned them. It specifies in what circumstances, you know, the poll results can be published and when it can't, so that if you are offended by the way there is no reason that the person who commissioned you, you have to take them. Then you get the permission from them. So, so if you wanted to require who is paying for it, what is the sample size, what is the analysis? Because you see, like, uh, you know, James, uh, Kenya, we have, uh, you know, multi-ethnic, we have strongholds of parties and personalities. So, so when you want to tell me Azimio is this strength, for instance, in Lower Eastern, the, the way they were saying, you know, you can easily ask based on the sample size, how did you pick from Eastern? How, how did you pick from Nyanza? How did you pick how and who? And, 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 how those, and, and all those yeah, things and all those are, are, are part and of the they are in law. But they are and part that, of the report. Yes, and, and, and it is in the report. So, so, so what I'm telling uh, Moses is not to dismiss them. Look at them. Where you have questions, the law gives you the right to seek clar clarification, not to demonize them and, and say that they don't. Okay, let's talk, about, let's talk about the National Post then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, from where you sit, Moses, uh, Azimio Kenya Kwanzaa? 58. 58 for who? 42. 58 for who? 58, 42, yeah. barring the undecided. Of course, for Ruto. Why are you asking whether uh, the Pope is Catholic? It's for clarity. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 James, we are at uh, 64.33 to William, one outside there being competed for, mm -hmm. one or two, mm -hmm. and, 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 and we are clear on it. And, and if you wanted to go to the details, we'll give them to you. Okay, gentlemen. Let, let's let's so rush We are 64, currently 33 to them. Let's rush to the next In issue. Normally, I would highly agree. No, no, across the country. No. Across the country. All right. Across let's, the country. Uh, okay. <laughs> You, you've all are very independent posters, obviously, and you've managed your own opinion mm. posters, as you can see tonight. Mm. Let's go to, to, the, to, to the question of what this election is truly, really about. Uh, we've had, you know, both campaigns. We've seen both manifestos. What's the differentiating factor between these two campaigns? Are they not one of the same, Moses? Um, there's a very big factor, big difference. I think we should be grateful, whether we are Kenya Kwanza or uh, Azimio, with this particular election that this, for the first time, is about issues. Yeah, it's about issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest problem with uh, Azimir is they're so distant from the realities of the common man. My God, you know, I look at it, this is a I knew. He's been taken away by his brother, Uru Kenyatta, so much away from reality, so much away from the common man, so much away from the, you know, from the real suffering, from what is driving the voter sentiment. No, no, tell us the about you. Issue. Don't worry about Raila. I know, I know him better. Come on, come on. Yeah? Let, let him make his presentation. You know, that's the whole thing. Whereas Kenya Kwanza, they are so real. They resonate very well with the issue affecting the common man. You know, the, the, the Azimio common guy is still in the, in, the, in, in, in the annals of history. Whereby it was about, oh, you know, Kikuyus cannot do this. They will vote for their own. Oh, you know. Uh, you know, it's about this uniting, it's about appeasement, and you know, this whole thing, well, Uru, my friend, my very good friend, Uru Kenyatta has met, has met Tinga. First of all, he takes him away from the common man. The Tinga of the past was more to, call to the common man than even us who are opposing him that particular time. Now, reverse rules. Now, Tinga is so much away from, from the reality of common okay. man, even in Kibra, they're not feeling him. They will vote for him, yes. But I can promise you, they are not feeling him. So that's they the are not feeling like... That's the differentiating factor. Bay Aunga in a panda, the first guy to defend. Eh? Don't blame him like Uhuru. It is Ukraine. It is this. Petro in a panda. Eh? Unajua tutafanya. This is not him. Okay, James, okay. What's the, what's, James, know, what's the same question? What's the differentiating James, factor? James, the difference in this between the manifesto of, um, you know, UDA and Zemio um, La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition, they tried to copy our manifesto, which they didn't understand. Moses, our manifesto seeks to realize what is in Article 43, the economic rights. We are saying we are done with civil and political rights in the Constitution. How can we secure right to education, right to health, 
right to uh, you know shelter how can we progress you know our economy as a people and how can we do it as we also bring the downtrodden down there that is why you hear Raila talking about some 6,000 to people who completely don't have as you expand you know also the middle that is what it is in your attempt in uh, you know Kenya Kwanza to copy it you hear them talking about judicial reforms you know th th that is the vetting and the radical surgeries through which we lost so many judges we can't allow that you hear the deputy president talking about we are going to establish judiciary fund to which we will send all money. He's not aware judiciary fund is long established. It's fully operational. And I, I wish you it's were not, staying. It is not it operational. Is full, I mean, it is justice, not operational. Let me Existing tell you, Moses, Moses, Moses. You are a member of JRA. Moses, get it. Truth. I mean, Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. And well, it is not the most important you issue. Know, so we'll call, come back to the economy. Call, we'll come back. No, no, no. Let, 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 let him make his presentation. Let him make his presentation. Moses, I'm telling you, you copied things you didn't understand. When you allow your candidate to talk about things which already exist, as if they don't exist like judiciary fund. You're saying they're not operational. It is operational. The monies we take, they are even earning interest. And they, they were reporting back to us even before, you know, we, we went on, on Sinedia. You can call the chief register of the judiciary. So I'm saying that these are people who tried to copy and it took a lot, a lot of time to copy. But if you listen to Raila, you, you listen to, to, to our team. We are talking about how we can better the economic situation, not being blind to the global situation. I mean, Moses. You are a very sharp guy and a finance guy. Are you denying that this issue of cost of living is, 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 is a global issue? I was in California uh, barely a month ago, and, and there are protestations there in terms of fuel prices and everything. This Ukraine-Russian thing is a reality. What about you, our you, you cannot come here. You cannot come here, Moses, and say it is all Uru Kenyatta, it is handshake. You are somebody who is in finance. Look at the variables and say we are doing badly but these are contributing factors. This ought to have been dealt okay. with better. Let's go back. Let, let's get we, to the we could have a problem with debts, but when, when were most debts taken? Let's, let, let's, 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 this Moses, only was Moses. in full charge. No, yeah, you know, we're transitioning know. well. Thank you very much for that presentation, you, Moses. You, you know. <coughs> What's the problem with our economy? The problem of our economy is 2018. What happened in 2018? We started look, having the wrong priorities, my friend. Explain. Yeah. <clears throat> Before 2018, we were talking about infrastructure. And not just this big infrastructure, the expressways and all that. We're talking about Homabi, roads in Homabi. Since 2018, we have with projects worth 720 billion, which have stored in rural Kenya. Yes, it's okay. I'll go home with the expressway. Thank you very much. That's what I'll use today. What about his constituents in Homabi? Because now we sacrifice the guy in Homabi for one expressway. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a villager. I keep saying this, I'm a villager. So my priority number one is that villager out there, you know? So when you have got only this big infrastructure project and you forget about that particular road there. By the way, if a road is being built in Homabi, and I want him to look at me in the eye and tell me roads are not stored there, like they have stored in my place and in many other places, you know? When a road I, I know the ones which have stored, and I'll, I'll, I'll speak to it later. No, yeah, those ones you went doing and launching, no, no, which no, did no. not wait, exist wait in the budget. Yeah. 720 billion. Mm of rural roads, rural Kenya. Which you initiated without eh, a budget. Including uh, Misori Road in your, in your own constituency. No, no, yes. Uh, Moses, eh? Moses. How and you know, I was a vice chair of, 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 of the transport there, there, committee. There is no way I called Misori. Eh? In, in, in Sorry. In, in, eh? <laughs> yeah? in your own, in your own. Moses, I'll tell eh? you In your, your own constituency, is. my friend, which you can confirm or deny. I, was, I am an It's not in my constituency. So, so I, that's I, number I, one. I, I need to give so, you clarity. Number two. What happened in 2018? 2018, what, what yeah, yeah. because of now the handshake okay. and, and, and the wrong focus. We stopped focusing on roads, we stopped focusing on water, we stopped focusing on uh, maternal health care, we stopped fo focusing on TVETs, we stopped Moses. focusing on the things that Moses. matter. Okay. It was all about gobbling up money, taking it to some what? phantom project called the handshake. And, and, you know, first of all, it takes money, actual money. Two, it takes a focus. And what you need to lead a country is two things, money, and focus, Moses. because focus you need to apply yourself. Moses, Moses. What, what, was, what was the debt between 2013 and 2017? Yeah. Roads, rural Kenya roads, up to 6,000 kilometers in rural Kenya. Every corner of this Wh country. Which one in Omabe? Without discrimination. No, which one in Omabe? Without I, discrimination. I, 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 no, which one in Omabe? Do you know now you are busy throwing stones and in the other time, you, 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 <laughs> you may have missed a road here or there, but you know, yeah? We are focusing on roads. 
we are focusing on, you remember those photos of Uhuru and Ruto switching on, yeah? This guy, I have got some statistics from Kenya Power in your own constituency, he has tried, he has done 23% electrification. That 23% is in the first term, is in the other term, when we are focused. It was not in this term. Tell me one what, place what, in this so country. What, what, so what percentage what, is your place? What, what, what I hear? 98%. What, what, 98. 98. Now you see how you skewed them. Yeah. No, no, yeah. So, because, so let me... Because yeah. you are focusing okay. on okay. the right hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now hang what on. you have done is that you have institutionalized the issue of stone yeah, throwing. So, so basically, Moses, James. you say it. Moses, let me... Let, no, no, I know. No, 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 no. Messed our Moses. agenda, James. which pushed James. us to... James Moses is now throwing stones. Moses, Moses. Moses, With all humility. All, 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 all Moses are here says that government stops expenditure in 2018. Yeah. Is that the problem that happened? Yeah, so l let me explain what happened without playing politics. The fact of the matter is that when, uh, you know, the, the Kibaki left, our debt levels were at about 1.7 trillion Moses. By the time Jubilee 1 was ending, we were approaching 6. We were at about 5 point, uh, you know. No, 5 point something. Total debt. Total national debt. Now, th these are facts. You cannot yeah. run from them. And, and, and uh, you know, mo most of them, the repayment was coming in the following year. Th so so the, the, the debt burden became an issue, James. Coupled with the debt budget, bu burden, that most of this money was being stolen. And I understand where Moses is coming from. Moses, you remember something like SGR was already, you know, procured before Jubilee One came in. They returned, that in, uh, returned that it only to triple you know, the cost from 200 billion to 580, you know it, you are, you are in transport. So that most of the money we are now being required to pay in the second term of Jubilee is, uh, you know, money which was stolen. And, and uh, James, when you look at uh, the people on his side, most of the people who are in parliament, Moses, there was too much paper pushing and, 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 and looting of, of so much money, even by colleagues in parliament. James, I can, I can if they were there, I would tell you, but, but colleagues would just be given a contract, go and repartition, you know, that gov government building. You paid 1.2 billion, you don't partition, you don't do anything. Just, you just, you know, do papers and push them there. So, so too much corruption ate into the debts we took. The debt are, you know, sagging down our economy. Then in this time, we have to repay them. The fact of the matter if, is that if, if, if you look at the corruption cases before 2018, Moses, even if you are to be bad, we can't talk of, uh, you know, cancer within the handshake, and I'm praying it can be investigated and be dealt with, whoever there you know, is, was involved. There is, there is no but, but other that than, happens. No, no, let me tell you. If, if Kemsa is Please, investigated, let, let me talk. that project called as let, let, let me talk. Let, let me talk, Moses. Moses, I was part of the team which went investigating this Aror Camorel thing, and, and you may take it, uh, you know, lightly. But the Italian, those Italians, the Jewish here or whatever, uh, the Ravenna, are at our Central Bank of Kenya seeking over 21 billion, you know, to be paid out of it. You, you remember we being told it was merely seven billion. No, no, no. And so when you see the people on his side are very bitter, handshake denied them the opportunity to continue looting. No, and we understand where they're coming from. The fact of the matter, Moses, is that if you look at the amount of work President Uru Kenyatta has done post handshake, even if you're blind, Moses. I mean, agree to me. Go to Mount Kenya. No, no, and you know, don't shake your head as I if I'm just an Nairobian. I have mm -hmm. traveled to Mount Kenya severally. The Mau Mau roads, the main trunk roads being dwelled, whether you're coming from the side of Nanyuki to town, whether you're come, going through, you know, Thika, whether you're going through, you know, Meti to Masabit, it is huge. The roads you are seeing, the expressways, whether, whether, whether they are the port in Mombasa, the roads you are seeing from the airport in Mombasa, those exchanges, when are they being done? It's post handshake. What Anshek did is to deny, you know, their side the opportunity to continue stealing, but to give more in so, terms of work. So, look, so, look, so, look, we, we may deny it, James. I, I need to, to finish to, his is, is, yes. yes, he's talking about, you know, universal health care. I mean, even if you are to deny it, how many hospitals have you seen the president opening, you know, across this, uh, you know, East lands, you know, parts of Nairobi and where we have, you know, our lower class? How many hospitals and dispensary, the dispensaries are you seeing around? How many boreholes have you seen, you know, you know, coming up. The fact of the matter is that you took a lot of time politicking. Handshake stabilized the country and enabled the president to achieve much more than uh, what he achieved when he was still... Yeah, so, 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 I'll start from the rear, then I'll answer from the front. Yeah. Mm. So Kenyans are very happy, isn't it? 
they are not the as happy as they Hamabi, should be. The but this Hamabi, is no. And the people of Hamabi no. are very happy. The, the unhappiness, the unhappiness eh? in, no, no. among Kenyans is global. Eh? It's not just Kenya. Eh? So it's Kenyans are very. Let's start from there. No. Because of these okay. wonderful, magnificent projects which have been done after the handshake. So why can't we go to that uh, one? Are you saying we should not do projects? I, I'm not you know, saying Moses, I'm not understanding you. Let me first of all. I've told you, go, 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 to, go to Europe. Were they not rioting the other day in, in London? Were they not rioting in Venezuela the other day? I need to your response. Let me respond this yes. one. On like Mount Kenya, like my, my road is a good project. I'm not denying. 580 kilometers. I have just told you I'm a villager. I'm just imagining if that road, if those uh, roads, if those kilometers went to the interiors, where we need to take our potatoes to the market, or our tea to the market, our coffee to the market, our milk to the market, it could have made a lot of difference. And I'm speaking this not from a political point of view, but out of reality, because I know the ROI, the return on investment on road network when it is in, you know, uh, in, in, invested in the proper way. So again, you see someone, some people, did they do something wrong in building the Mama Road? Absolutely not. Did it achieve the economic impact that would have been wanted? Absolutely zero. Why? Because you didn't go to the people and ask them, wait a minute, do you want this Mau Mau Road? Or do you want that road that come from Gedongoli to a place called Kagui? You know? So you look at it, and by the way, those other roads, if it was properly distributed, and Moses, they'll be completed. They'll be completed. I'm from Mount Kenya region. Moses, they'll be completed. You should be very worried. They'll be completed. You should be very worried. You know, you should be very worried if you are from Homabi and ask yourself if you just got a piece of that 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 that, that completely misplaced project like Mau Mau. If it went to the interior, including home, you're calling, you are calling those roads yeah. uh, misplaced. They are misplaced because it's just one trunk that passes there. They're not misplaced. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine oh this? God. Can you imagine this? You've got the road. Yeah, Moses. I, the drawing of Dika Road, I support. I support. You know, Mau Mau Road. In terms of, is it a good project? It's absolutely a good project. Correct. Is it a priority project? It should not be a priority. It is project. a priority there project. There are other priorities. Gentlemen, because gentlemen, this is what I'm calling. This is what I'm calling conspiracy against the poor. James, that has been. James, that has been. You know. Let's uh, look. Exemplified by this. Moses is by playing these politics. Because, Moses, because, Moses, somebody Moses, is, because somebody is because somebody so petty want to compare himself with Kibaki. Moses, if instead of saying Kibaki no, did, no, Kibaki no, did his road going this way. Moses, even in our mind going. This way. Moses. Why can't you ask yourself, what is the utility value of Moses, these roads? Moses, 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 who are you saying is being petty here? The president? My, my idea of the Mamao roads. Your psychopathy no, 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 no. is incurable. Are, are we still debating, hang on, James? Hang on, hang your psychopathy is terminal. Are, are, are we still point. debating? Make, make I'm making the point. Moses, you may have thicker road, but Mount Kenya is an agricultural you know, production area. How do you get those producers to the main trunk road to come to, the, to Nairobi? is the need for Mau Mau roads. The fact of the matter is that roads will not start today and they be completed. James, you've had, you know, Moses on their side saying there are very many roads in Kisumu. But which single road in Kisumu was started under Jubilee? They were started under Kibaki. D don't give Kenyans the impression that you can do roads, you start it today and tomorrow it is ready. The fact of the matter is that with the time, finances being available, they will be completed. And the economic boom for your region will be massive. We should be the ones crying. I mean, you've been, you, you, you've been saying these roads are across the country. Which, which single road in Omaha County, you said you are in, in, in the roads committee, did you know about when, you, when, you pay, when money comes don't out diminish, from money, let me tell you Don't this. diminish. No, let don't diminish. You know, yeah, you are, uh, you are paid by taxpayers. You are paid by taxpayer of Gatundu, and I'm paid by taxpayer of Homabi. Yeah? So taxpayer is taxpayer. Whether it's from Gatundu or from Homabi, let me tell you this. If the road... The, the money for roads that come from budget this year, mm. this financial year, mm. even the last half of the last financial year, has gone to pay the contractors only. Mm. Really, contractors? Mm. You should be worried. We have got pending bills of 380 billion mm. of contractors in Homer Bay, in rural Kiambu, in rural Moran. And, and, and James, I'll so tell you. James, but when you just pay the Moses, Chinese, Moses, you just pay the Chinese. Moses, Moses, you just pay the Chinese Moses Mau Mau. but who, who, just pay the, who the, are these contractors we are talking about? Really, contractors. No, no. Who, are those, who are those? I get it. Just, hello, Macaron. Let's talk about corruption. I have a few minutes to leave. Who? I'm against the two of you. We can we can go granular in this conversation. We'll not mm. end up anywhere. Just you know, uh, raising. I, I told you. I, I told on this you. question of corruption. Mm. Who has the best answer? In terms of coalition, check where Mata Karu and Raila are. You really cannot ask where Ruth and Gade are 
to, to think uh, any corruption can be fought there. In fact, you've heard him talking about roads. I told you even in the last parliament, Moses will tell you there were committees they were targeting. Even in the roads committee, so many members whom you know, Moses, were being given roads to Hello, do which they never did, you, but you, they raped you, Kenyans you, of you, billions. You, you've not answered my question. What will Raila and Karua do differently on corruption? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corruption, we had uh, made uh, suggestions uh, in terms of, uh, you know, legislations to come up. You remember we even mentioned it in, 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 in BBI. That when you have a corruption case, we want the trial completely to appeal to it within a year. But we don't have people who steal our money, then they are there running for political offices for eternity. That is number one. Number two, make the institutions you know, purely independent and, 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 and just avoid, you know, politicizing them. How do you do that? The, the problem, how you do it is to, you know, keep off the institutions uh, with, with, with the ideas they have been coming up with. You see, every time they go for somebody on their side, this year is being misused. ESCC, ESCC is being misused. Allow the institutions to work and firm them up. I heard the DP, you know, with the greatest of respect, Moses, crying about police do not have funding. But you remember in the 11th parliament, who removed funding from the IEG when Kimayo, you remember, was the IEG? It was the URP team of William Root, and he was seated there, and it, okay. it went to the PS. Okay, the fact of the matter is that resource them well, allow them their independence, and uh, set targets by law for the institution. Okay, if it you. is a trial, Moses. be done Question, question on corruption. Corruption, very easy. Uh, you know what he has said after? It's plagiarism, which is uh, another way of flattery, which is okay, because that's our mm -hmm. agenda. That the way to fight corruption, the Kenya Kwanzaa team believes that is to build up, is to build strengthen the institutions and to remove the weaponization of our criminal justice system. How now you, you get how it. How you you see, the, the, now you the, get for, it. Because of giving them independence, it depends, it depends, financial. Who took money from uh, the financial, police? Financial, you financial, you financial to autonomy. Yeah. yeah, and you know the fish lots. No, who from, took money the from fish, the police? The fish lots from the head. No, this no is who Uru, took money? This is Uru Kenyatta's hang government. On, so on, ask Uru Kenyatta. No, who took ask money? Ask your chairman no, this was of by law. Ask your handshake partner. No, no, this was by yeah? law in the this 11th is parliament, Uru's Moses. Uru and Laila. And then Moses, you, Kaluma, you Kaluma. seconded the, the law. The presidency Kaluma. of Uru you know. and Laila <laughs> should be asked that question. Moses, the, Moses, Uhuru Moses. Uhuru is the president. Calm down. Laila is the co-president. Calm down. You should ask them. Moses. The law was passed before. You've not answered my question. You've not answered my question. Because you know where the problem is. So he's trying to... Exactly, exactly. The voice doesn't, no, make, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make the point. He's trying to please to shield his, his as a meal. It's a straight question. No, but the it's law was made. Hang on, hang on, hang on. How so, one, happen? stop the weaponization so that you stop burdening the, the office of the DPP with, with just cases for the sake of having cases. And then when he goes to court, and he's a lawyer, I can tell you, he cannot, he cannot prosecute these cases effectively because they were, they were brought to achieve a certain need of expediency of the day. So we need to stop that. So that by the time somebody is taken to court, then we are sure that we have got an overwhelming yeah, probability of, you know, uh, of, of getting a, process, a conviction. Mm -hmm. That's number one. But now, Let's, let's talk, forget about my opinion. Five years, Nitawafunga, DPP is crying. Don't bring me cases that are wishy washy, that have not been investigated, just to achieve the Kamata Kamata Fridays, you know? You know, it is wrong. Do, and it's a say? waste of our judicial so, resources. Say? Say? So the number one is stop the organization of mm. ESCC, mm. of DCI, of KRA, let these people do their job. Give them their own vote, 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 vote heads, their own budget lines, so they don't have to go and queue in Kibisho's office looking for money. And let the, let the decision be so that we have a systemic, would you agree, a system based would you, approach? Would you, would you agree, yeah? Moses? Moses, to, would, would you agree with the benefit of hindsight yeah. that the 2014 security bill started this sort of slide Correct. of getting into the security and the arrangement of things? Yeah, we were told by Huru Kenyatta. <laughs> no, no, but Moses. Oh, you know what? Moses Uru does not say it in Parliament. You I fought me guy. physically. I even Uru was calling us. Eh? I'm happy. I'm happy, Moses. Uh, are, you, are, you, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? you see, on, 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 your, on your specific role on that 2014, uh, would you? 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 Would
I'll repeat a Kaluma because I even tried to box yeah, James, let me, let me tell you something. Okay, let's wind this up. Culpa, culpa, let, let's wind this up. When the law governing ESCC was being changed to empower the CEO above the commissioners who are his employers, we were beaten up in parliament. And then I'm happy Moses is admitting that. When the law that vested we, money, that put money in the office of the IEG so that he could exercise independent command, as the Constitution says, and he would do anything, resource the police properly, was being moved from the IEG uh, back to uh, the, the PS Correct. Treasury. You, you right. remember? When we came to your side to support you in what you are saying, now you no, bolted no, 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 no. and came to this yeah, other yeah. side to defend him. No, let, let me... Let and when Professor Karuma was speaking like this, he's nowhere. No, let he's me be done. Let, let me be done. Moses, you remember when you held me and when I was peppered in the eye? Don't, don't, don't say this. They, they were moving. Okay. They were moving. Moses. That's, that, that's, that's, uh, yes. Make, this is make, make your final thought, yes. They led by Ruto side you are no, 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 no. Moses, you remember by me Uru crying. Kenyatta. Why? I'll, 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 I'll give you time to... to, to, yeah. to, to, to. You remember I was saying... Why would MPs ally to URP? And you remember they were largely from Rift Valley. I was asking, why would you move money from Kimayo to the PS? It is therefore hypocrisy for the very people who, you know, occasioned the mess to come telling no, you, we'll see, do it, see, we'll do see, what... See, see their the politics. Fact, see their politics. Okay. Okay. Here I am, final who was not in URP. I was in TNA admitting. Yes. But because he has to achieve his... Anti URP, anti LFT, but what do I do? He has to fish. Here is someone who's confessing. Why are you looking for another person? Yeah, so, so someone you, goes to go so, to so confessing. You, you, See, no, it can't you, you be. Are confessing, you. James you are confessing that who by that hindsight. Who you all messed right. up. But, right. but why would the who messed you and is not in parliament? With all due respect. Huh? With all due and respect. And now we came to Thank speak you. your language, you vanished and you went to defend impunity. Okay. We miss no, you. No, which impunity? We miss you to speak your language. <laughs> I mean, Gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much for your candid thoughts. Thank you very much for the passionate debate. Captain the South MP Moses Kuria, thank you for coming. Wish you all the best in your campaign. Thank you. Uh, home of the town MP Peter Kaluma. My very also, good friend. You should thank add. You. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Yes, you yeah, should shake hands to show that. I allow him all the time to come to be governor james okay yeah all right that's it that is for us with all due respect we do this every tuesday on this station same time same space my name is james Smart. please do have a lovely night